Right. What's up, everybody? I'm doing something silly. Mainly because I'm curious. Very curious. On the state of this game. And seeing what it's all about. Yo, what's up, Bradley? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Decided to jump on in with this game of all games and see what it's all about. So, this is my first time playing Fallout 76. This game was a choice. Yeah, it was yes, it was Bustova. I'm just very curious. Extremely curious. I was thinking about like, ah, oh, I feel like playing something different today. I was going to ask him to play this again one of these days. Well, I never played this before. This is the, literally the first time me turning it on. When I mean the first time turning it on, I mean literally. This is the first time me installing this game and turning it on. So, yeah. I'm just curious. Let's see what this is out, uh, about. I guess I could claim a, a Fallout 33 jumpsuit. So, we could see what this is all about. This is the social section. So this is just, you know, people on my friends list. Is this, uh, where can I claim stuff? Oh. Oh, anyway. Let's just click play and uh, see where we end up. Because again, I'm just curious. It might actually be decent. My hopes are not high. <laughs> My hopes are not high at all. Have, have any of you guys played this yet? changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Oh no, the Red Menace. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, we become hell divers. 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech. But it was built by you, the good people of America. America. So that if the bombs do come, the good people the of America does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds. Look at all those happy people. America Absolutely nothing itself. bad's about to happen. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Yeah. And it's all going to be Utopia. Good morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night, even those who may have overindulged and overslept. 
Old mouse to and move the mouse to turn your head. Press F to start sculpting. And get out there. Okay. Away long enough. So I can start sculpting. Today is Reclamation Day. Reclamation Day. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the You can change your appearance once you leave the vault. It's like change appearance to main menu. Come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. Jowls, upper. But you all share one very important trait. You color. Are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. I'll be coffee. Uh. There you go, just have a, a slight smirk. Because why not? Let's see. Yeah, that thumbnail is my face when this game was launched. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yo, what's up, Muggy? Good to see you, man. Long time no see. I hope everything's been well. I'm uh, goofing around with this game. Uh, oh, there is. Switch. Okay. There we go. I am. I am a dude. I am a dude now. Okay, here's the random button. Everyone, everyone, everyone just looks rough. I mean, if you lived the entire time in the vault, I guess that makes sense. That you would just look rough. Oh, it, it's just, I, I thought it was randomized. But it's just, it's just switching. <laughs> Makeup. Grime. This is a, not a very good, I'm going to tell you right now. This is not a very good, uh, character creator. The gentleman. The gunslinger. The po poetry slam. The playboy. That's the. Oh my. There you go. Common wealthy. There's a. There you go. I'll just be a good old. Goatee. Yeah, this 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 menu system for this is already not good. The shaggy, <laughs> Kim friendly. So you're saying that's a crackhead haircut? The beatnik, the anti-hero. I'm gonna go with the dapper. There you go. That that, sh that should be good enough for what I'm trying to do. All right, so now we go to body. Yeah, I'm just gonna make him jacked. Uh oh, that's just fat. Yeah, this is a terrible character creator. Name my character. DB Fig. <laughs> All lowercase letters, just cuz. 
Thanks. Photo identification. Okay. So now we're <laughs> so now we're back. I'm trying to get my sensitivity of my mouse to feel okay. All right, this is probably the best I can get. So we got 1776 to 2076. Always remember to have a great day, guys. Can I can I take the hat? Oh, it's just rest. See, if this was. I can't, yeah, I know. I can't take any, can't even take my own hat. I can change the mural. The good morning and good evening. But I can't take my own damn hat. I can only rest. I'm an alarm clock. All right. I'm invited. Happy Reclamation Day. Today's the day, everyone. Reclamation Day. We've been preparing for this moment for 25 years. We're ready. You're ready. America's waiting for us. So let's get out there, Overseer. Who? Everyone. When? 10 p.m. to midnight. We've opened the remaining liquor rations to the official vault Tech party and the official Fort Tuck party hats. The overseer will give a speech in, at 10 minutes to midnight and will lead the countdown. Have fun, everyone. Let's play a hollow tape. Old space, the poor. Caption. Yo, is this, um, yo, what's up, God's daughter? This is just Tapper, right? Get ready to serve. Yeah, so far this is the best part of the game. There you go. There's nothing wrong with Tapper. paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, we're going to pick this one. I was one away. Uh-oh. No! I like how this is the first game we get to play. Why, why is it why is it Cogsworth? Forget the rest of the game, just give you Vault Tapper. Yeah, no, I just play I'll just play Vault Tapper for a bit. I like I like how there's the effect.
Let's see here. It's not very hard. This is oddly kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I could I could move back. I didn't even realize that. I didn't realize I could run forward. Do I do I do I get anything for this? Do I, do I get anything for doing this? <laughs> okay, he shook that up. He shook that up. He shook that up. I think it was this one. There we go. I'm wondering when this is supposed to get kind of hard. Oh, oh, it's because see they got distracted. Okay. That, that's that's slick. Uh, because, okay. All right. I'm, uh, let me actually get to the regular game. If not, I'll just be sitting here playing Fallout Tapper the entire time. I got all these trophies. Can't really read. Annual Vault Halloween Costume Contest. <laughs> Legally distinct. <laughs> Legally distinct tapper. Yeah, I know. I like how it just says proceed to exit. So I guess this signifies I was in the military at one point. Um, I got a dog. Do I, do, do I get to take the dog? There was someone else here. My little storage closet. Hey, yo. This place actually might be bigger than my apartment. <laughs> oh, is that my dog? It's a little rocky horse thingy. Reminder, don't put TP on backwards. <laughs> okay. Need more sugar bombs. Might as well use the to toilet one last time because once I'm out once I'm out and about, things are gonna get bad. Take a nice shower. There we go. I took a fully clothed shower. That is 100% going to be useful on the outside. Um, I 
At this point, it's like, why leave? All right, let me grab my pit boy. Press tab to open my pit boy. Yep. That sure is a pit boy, all right. No radio. I got a gun on me. Which is good. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, yo. Did I just oversleep? You have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. In Appalachia. This is the Overseer signing off. That's my house. So. The message repeats in 24 hours. So here's the thing. System. There's a gym. I was asleep with a hangover, right? Everyone's supposed to come together. You would think, you would think everyone would be taking like a roll call and be like, hey, where's John? <laughs> hey, why isn't John here? So we can complete the mission that we literally got in the vault to do. We were in the vault for a very specific purpose. Crutchley. Hello. At last. Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. Well, let's see. Do we know anything about the world outside? Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. With so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. Probably not very much. Anywhere from the Overseer? No, and we're not likely to get one. It's been months. What? What? Besides, she left this place behind to reclaim America. It's past time you followed her example. Wait. Wait. He said it's months. So I guess it was a pre recorded message and she already dipped out? Is that what happened? Because I just had a hangover. And everyone left me. I'm ready to go. Excellent. Adventure and opportunity awaits you, sir. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking. All right. Best get cracking. This was the cafeteria. That's right, sir. Free sample. Yum, yum. Sure. I'll take I'll take a Rad X. My thirst meter drains over time. That is wonderful. Oh, that's all there. Yeah, that's Cavendish. Right away to cure it. Always stay stocked with medicines. And don't forget to use them. Alright, Cavendish. 
What is this? Outside with a little elbow grease, you'll be powering up West Virginia in no time. All right, so I got some building supplies. Did, did Cavendish have anything on him? Um, oh, yeah, he did. There we go. That was good. I, I'm glad I went back because that would have been kind of important. Not have any Rataway or stim packs. I'm sure you've been lonely, but there's a whole vault's worth of companions outside. First G. Assuming they haven't been eaten yet. Oh, whoops. Opens the emote menu. Hi. I'm a nerd. Let's see here. I'm gonna wear my party hat. That is. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now, now, now I'm ready for. Ah, one of Vault 76's last remaining residents finally awakens <clears throat> again. Again? How often was I asleep? High voltage, do not tamper. Oh, this must have been, this is, looks like it's the overseer's room. All right, what is going on here? 25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and begin the process called reclamation. The civics will be disseminated automatically at the time it approaches. After Reclamation Day, you are personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silos, codenamed Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. That these sites are still nuclear, capable, and sure no one except vault can access or launch nuclear ordnance. To be clear, even with other authorities, whether government, militia, or otherwise, Or otherwise, yes. Um, claims are to be ignored. Voltic alone maintains jurisdiction. That is, that is dark. So even if the U.S. basically told them, like, even if the U.S. government did survive, Voltic is claiming jurisdiction over nuclear weapons. That is funny. Uh, vault is one of the most important projects the vault has ever completed. No expenses have been spared on building, staffing, and selecting the inhabitants of the vault. The cream of the crop of America have been chosen. The special classes and instructions you receive about managing the vault do not apply to this assignment. Vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see to the livelihood and well-being of all the residents Excuse me. and make sure they're ready to colonize. America wants the all clears received. It is to be expected you will face challenges we ha haven't prepared for you. Adapt, learn, and thrive. Day of duties. This is... Uh, let's see. Due to the aptitude of the vault residents, you may be presented with unique challenges in maintaining order. As a last result, each domicile can be locked down and the resident imprisoned for a duration you deem appropriate. Enforced solidarity confinement can lead to psychological issues. So factor that in. Although the fall doors cannot be opened from the inside, keep the entry clear from all unauthorized personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amended entry uh, be armed for non-lethal devices. I mean, so far everything's, ever, I mean, other than that first part, everything else has been you what you would think people will be prepared in 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 the fallout world um our case study has shown that after a relatively short duration of living with the amenities of vault tech that test subjects can grow depend on them that uh that will not do for vault 76. after the all clear message proceed vault 76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours air circulation will cease at last and you should warn the vault residents that staying inside the vault can be lethal after this period Everyone must leave the nest. That's funny. 
They were just like, nah, man. They were just like, nah, man. We're shutting everything off. We're trying to kick him out. All right. Okay, I can say this is this is a clearance for the overseer eyes only. We counted on the midnight. I haven't seen every, everyone cheer like that since the vault baby number one was born. I called lights out a couple hours ago. I had to get security to help few people to their beds. Then the volunteers and I all got um, the standee set up. Need to make the final recording, and then it'll be time to head out the door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on the way, but I know they'll make me proud. All right, what's the first thing? As instructed, we are the setup survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from 76 as soon as the door is open. We have no information about what awaits us. That's true. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> we can see there any. I can't take uh, my. Yeah, exactly. I can't take my nice little derby hat, but I, I can take the freaking. Uh, uh, what you want to call it, hat. So, yeah. At current count, six residents are under disciplinary knockdown. That's up from four last year. The morale of the officers have managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever, but tensions are high. It is generally pretty easy to maintain order. The pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least. But competence sometimes means arrogance, and arrogance means my authority gets tested more than it should. Hydroponics have been struggling to keep up with demand. Okay. Bolt 76 World Cup has proven to be a big hit. Okay, so this is just a rundown. Deleted files. What's the deleted files? Okay. What's the hollow tape? Overseer's log. Or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task, and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Whoa. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. Makes sense. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. Okay. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Okay. I got plus ten something. So instead of basically taking over the uh, the nuclear silos, she was more like, "Yeah, maybe we should go and like shut those down." <laughs> Which, to be very honest, kind of makes sense. Because nuclear silos that haven't been maintained for 25 years just spells disaster. There's some party hats. All the food is gone. There's the picnic table. All the doors have been sealed. Is there anything I'm missing? No? Was that it for all their music? I hope not. Imagine 25 years and this was all the music available to you. Each one of these better have like 
500 tracks on them. Because board, what? Because the moment boredom sets in, in a test like this, that's when all hell breaks loose. All right. Yeah, we just got to get out of here. All right, I guess it's time. Let's leave the vault, boys and girls. You got the standees pointing the right way. Sir, oh. uh, you've stayed so long past Reclamation Day, our stores are nearly depleted. Go on, take the meds. But you need yes. So I, I built the camp. All right. So I got the camp. I have everything situated. Is there anything else I need in these uh, areas? I guess not. All right. There's one more Cogsworth over here. Uh oh, final notice. If anyone is found accessing this terminal and is not a member of the personal department, you'll be immediately reported to the security chief. No exceptions. Okay, so people are stealing sodas. I realize that it may seem trivial in the line of present circumstances, but I would greatly appreciate my uh, reassignment be processed before recreation day. I've worked many years to pass all written, verbal, and physical tests to become a sanitation engineer. I have a doctorate in engineering, and I don't want to end my tenure at our Fault 76 as a soda jerk. <laughs> Yo, they got a guy whose job, they got, a, they got a guy who's a sanitation engineer, which is actually a pretty important job. The guy who can manage the entire sewer system. And they basically made him the soda jerk. <laughs> Please ha let me have the accolades I have earned. To be clear, after Reclamation Day, there will be no personal department. There will be no Fault 76. Any of projects in the middle will be done. And for some reason, you can't find the time to erase your files. I'll send someone over to do it for you. You can bring it up to the overseer if you like. That's funny. That that is that is that is hel unintentionally hilarious. Supplies may be scarce after the war. Many things may be broken. All right. You sir possess the skills necessary to accomplish anything. I'm sure of it. Get a job. Yes. Hell yeah, I'm equip some black rim glasses. I got a pen. There we go. Overseer log. Is today the day? Leaving the vault at last. Dude, I look like the, I, I look like a giant now. dork. <laughs> I got my party hat and I got my glasses. <laughs> Let's see. Pick a job that's special to you. Educations. Public safety. Healthcare. All right. I think this is it. Door is opening. It's 
so bright. It's scary out there. I'm gonna go in this room real quick. Because it's it's, it's scary. Oh god. The hell? Password required. Attempt remaining. Uh yeah, uh, uh, hope. Oh, okay. You outside world exactly outside world view. Vault security instructions. Vault seventy six. Okay. Upon receiving the activation notice, your team is authorized to use lethal force. Any obstacle that threat that stands between you and getting the vault resident safely inside must be dealt with. Trust your overseer. Obey your overseer. Know that each and every member of your team was selected specifically for this assignment. All right. What about security logs? Final entry. 25 years of service, no KIAs, and one hell of a send-off. I made one last plea to arm the resis before we open. Denied. My solemn hope is generations from now, visitors will come to 76 and read this and know how dedicated the forefathers were. How we regrew America from ashes. But I must admit, I'm afraid as well. If some of the experiments in the other vaults go wrong, it could give you nightmares. And that's the only things I know about. Yep. So, it sounds like the security guards were actually not that bad people. They're just kind of... They, dra they drank the Kool-Aid and... They were all about it. They drank the Kool-Aid and were all about it. But before... <laughs> I know I'm delaying going outside, but you know, if this is a really a Fallout game, if you don't if you don't hook your head around here and there somewhere, you're, you're not you're not playing this game right. Goodbye, Aloha. ciao, arrivederci, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, via con Dios, buen viaje. I don't think you said adios. They grow up so fast. Racist. Happy reclamation day. Now go get <laughs> All right. Let me move my eyelash from my eye. Actually, let me do one thing real quick before anything else. Because... I'm actually, hold up, something just came up that I have to, I have to fix real quick. All right. You haven't seen this game in years? This is my first time seeing this, Joseph. Like, straight up. I literally just installed the game today. I've, I've owned the game for a while. I've owned the game for a while, but never, ever played any of it. So... Yeah, this is uh, going to be pretty interesting, the, the, the say the least. I'm actually, I, I'm just fixing like a small technical issue I'm having right now that I'm going to step outside and see what the game's actually about. Oh, I, I hope I enjoy playing too. Like you said, the game was completely broken at launch, you know what I mean? The game was completely broken at launch. So... Why is this showing a window capture? <laughs> it was absolutely horrendous. <laughs> yeah. And I just I was just super curious. Like I was I was thinking about like, hey, what should I uh I was like, yeah, what should I play? I was like, I haven't decided what I wanted to play on stream. And then all of a sudden I with all the fallout uh, TV show talk, which I heard the Fallout TV show is good. It was just like, I was like, screw it, let me uh, let me give it a shot. What's the what's the worst thing that could happen? The game is bad. <laughs> oh, oh no! <knows. laughs> the Fallout TV show is a ten out of ten. Nice. Oh, hold on, I gotta fix one thing real quick. There we go. 
Yeah, I, I noticed. Recommend. I haven't seen it yet. I definitely want to go check it out. All right. Let's go outside. Because it's scary. Oh, pick a special. Battle uh, Ready Dweller. Includes armor and perks. Battle Ready Dwellers leave the vault at 20 with a special loadout of a choice. They are prepared to jump. Fresh Dwellers leave the vault at level 2 with a perk of their choice. Considering I have not played this game at all, I, I probably should start with the battle ready one just just to just to make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. Because if the game ends up being straight dog water, you know. <laughs> let's let's see how it is. Let's go, let's go battle ready. Because why not? Oh crap. A slugger. A commando, gunslinger, shotguns, a VAT specialist. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Let's, let's be a commando. For reasons. Confirm special loadout. Sure. Sure. M magic sounds happen. All the magic sounds happen. And welcome everyone who might be showing up on the TikTok side. Hope you're having a good day. What is all this? Yay! My first quest done. Reclamation day. Good God, all the sparkly effects. are out so hold tab all right so do i with, with all the stuff weapons yeah we easily i yeah, you know we could easily fit 10 more pop-ups on screen um i got a okay so i got the combat rifle um okay i got a full leather gear I'm still, I'm still rocking my party. See, I might be wearing a, a military helmet, but I do have my party hat still on because that's that's what's important. Um, stats. So I guess my stats are up. Oh, I reached level, okay. Um, Disable pacifist mode in in-game setting to enable player combat. Team up, trade or attack, work together. Um, you, have, you have unopened perk packs. Sure. Set quantity. Sure, sure. I have no idea what's going on. Perk card. Oh god. Right off the jump. That is washing something. Scatter shot. Homebody, Gladiator. Gradual health regeneration while at camp or workshop. That that sounds Oh no, this is just tell me what I got. Legendary perks. Okay, so I got these other ones. Ground pounder, sturdy frame. No, I don't want to scrap these. We can <laughs> no, uh, equip. So do I have to unequip these? I guess because the perk's already set, right? This thing didn't do a very good job and really... This game did a, a, an entirely terrible job. Continue playing. Stop trying to sell me things. I just started the game. All right. Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but 
Perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Any idea what those two are doing up there? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in <clears throat> accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. All right. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. A friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for me. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Um, <clears throat> the door's sealed tight. Nobody's getting in. God damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that after you gave him the last of our caps and he said that inside that vault is the you know that's where the big one is the, our last chance to turn our lousy luck around the big one uh <laughs> i could lie the big one uh what are you talking about you know the thing that brought everyone back treasure I'm just gonna be a jerk I'll be like uh, I think you got some bad information but I told you Lacey the guy was scamming us but those were the last of our caps no someone has to know something we're just gonna stick it out until we find them wonderful Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Uh, sorry. It seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Yeah. Um. What's the world like out here? We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous really dangerous but it's better than where we've been uh let's see what can you tell me about the area about Appalachia other than it's a graveyard there's that we haven't been here real long but from what we've been able to piece together the area got hit pretty hard not long after well these things showed up the scorched they're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. What's with this treasure? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Oh, I'm hearing gunshots. Carter, I what's with the... his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. Watch yourself out there. I heard gunshots. Why? Why were there gunshots? There's a weak feral ghoul. There's another vault dweller over there. There we go. Radiation reduces my maximum health. There's a ladle. So now I guess I'm just in the wild world, huh? 
One thing that I definitely want to do, though. Where is it? Menu. Settings. Audio. Because there's always something of audio. Voice. Let's lower the effects. Just a bit. There we go. Display. Reset is set at low. Oh, jeez. Medium. All right, so I killed my first feral ghoul. Uh, the Wayward, opening soon. It says I should visit the Wayward. Speak to Lane. Well, this is Fallout. Therefore, I'm going to go and do whatever I want. So I'm just going to go this way. And let, let, let's see what happens. A rag stag doe. <laughs> There you go. I can harvest you. Immediately start harvesting uh, food. We we got we got to be brutal out in these streets. There's a suit flower. What are those? Those are the scorched. But that's not fun. You gotta go, go guns blazing confused. Hell yeah. I'm going guns blazing and confused. There's some spoiled meat. Raw fertilizer. A tent with nothing in it. Grab some wild fruit. Me, me and this un other guy have unintentionally become partners. <laughs> Just because we love the bolt around the same time. So... If I gotta do a mission, right? Public events, all there's a activity. So I gotta head this way. So I'm actually heading the wrong way for the quest line. And we want to go. There we go. Quests are in the pit boy. Ah, uh, okay. The new arrivals. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know, Muggy. See a little like camp over here. 
That is a construction protectatron. We need to understand the past as well, or we'll make the same mistakes going forward. Go home. Let us take care of things here. What ton of soldiers than I? You looking to join up too? Protect and serve. So this is the Brotherhood. I'm joining the Brotherhood. Whatever it takes. Weapons workbench. The raiders, the ghouls. If anything tries to attack, we'll be ready. We're all links in the chain, bound in Brotherhood. I always forget about the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood are, uh, they're the ones that, that they, 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 they're like totally bought in on rebuilding America, right? Or was that the another group? Like, don't they feel they're trying to bring back the old world back or something? I've totally forgot what the Brotherhood was about. All right. I feel like I should um, up the graphics a bit because like there's no shadows <laughs> and the game looks rough. But I tried to up the graphics and it was like, please restart your game to take effect. Mm. There's a scavenger it's here. Just about time to eat. Yeah, let me let me uh, let me do that real quick because that'll take seconds to do. Uh, this this has a terrible UI, just straight out dog water UI. Just put just putting that out there. This is like I've played the other Fallout games, but only only that one, I was legitimately felt confused. All right, I'm gonna do my whole Nvidia. Let it choose the graphics optimized for me. BS. No, don't do. Thank you. It was trying to give me 4K. Optimize. Okay, cool. So now the graphics should be optimized. Let's uh, bring it back up again. Maybe it will hurt the eyes a bit less. I mean, I got a 4070 Super. I should be able to run this without issue, right? You would think. For a limited time, the Fall 33 is back and free. You in the Atomic Shop. It's a Bethesda game. Yeah, I know. I, I want the free stuff. Where, 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 where's the free things? That's 400 free. Confirm. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me that. Give me that free stuff. Camp. I'm going to take whatever they're going to give me for free just because it's free. Because that's how I roll. If it's free. It's for me. Let's 
Some, some might think that's a little bit of a moochy behavior, but I do not care. Because it's free. Look at all these things. Look at all look at all these free things. I love free things. I'll take the I'll take I'll take the free pride flag. Why? It's free. Is there anything else here? That's free. That I'm missing. Another pride flag. Sure, why not? There's a free box. Okay. So I took... So I got all the stuff that's for free, I guess. Uh, what is this? Quantum Worlds? My guy looks dazed and confused. Gee, I'm level 20 now. All right. Okay. The scorched, the raiders, the ghouls. This looks this looks better. This this doesn't have that blown out look to it anymore. So that's good. This is in good hands. So let's just keep on heading south. Let's head south and see. So far, the only really knock I could say about this game right off the jump is just um, the UI is doo-doo. Explore Appalachia for an hour. So they're just... Can you talk to you? Enjoy this complimentary sample of wood. Uh, hey, you didn't give me any wood. <laughs> I feel, I feel ripped off. Chop wood, chop wood, chop wood. Protect and serve. Now, which of those berries was edible again? Remember, some of us still want what's best for Appalachia. Maybe I should put my gun away. If you're looking for work, talk to Lane. Oh, he didn't have an arm for a second. You guys see that? He put his he put his thing down and his arm just like melded into his body. Is everyone so squabble all the time? We have to come together to survive. Lumberjack Protectron works all night and hey friend, also works can I get you anything? No, you can't get me anything, buddy. There's an ammo vending machine. I don't even know how many caps I got. Um, 
items. I got 102 caps. Or just to escape for a while. You're always one. All right, so there's. I already found a lot of workbenches. Hope the refuge is holding up without me. So, yo, can I get, I got stuck for a second. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Coffee pot. So far, so good. Optimization still needs to get a lot better in this game. It definitely still has that very janky feel I don't think they can improve that part it's been too long yeah well is, is this I can't remember they're actually they actually used the creation engine for this right they didn't actually get someone to make something from uh, unity or or um, or epic or any or epic this is straight to creation engine still so yep they did I, I would think if they're doing something multiplayer that they would use something a little bit more stable <laughs> you know what I mean but you know that's that's me trying to think logically they were like, oh no, no, we could do this in the creation engine. The same engine that has been broken this entire time. The dev team found Morrow encode in it. That's that's equally sad and hilarious. I'm glad it's not unreal. Four and five have so many hiccups. Yeah. I wonder if now with um, them being part of uh, Microsoft, if the, they will move, they will build uh, the next Elder Scrolls, not in the creation engine. There you go. Here's here's the, here's the creation engine all's glory right here. Totally. It's like, hey, what engine is this game built from? I can never guess. Even though I do have to say, Starfield does run pretty well. There's a lot of things I, I didn't like about Starfield, but oddly enough, technically, it, it ran well. The gunplay was fine. I didn't run into any weird glitches or crashes, um, other than the occasional physics glitch, which happens, happens in all games. It, it ran scarily well. Feel like feel like I have to lower the volume here of the stupid. 
Is the music really loud or is it just me? I, I lowered that a bit. You fully believe they're learning new engines? Yeah. Speaking of uh, new engines, uh, the sequel to Slay the Spire, um, they just announced that they fully abandoned Unity and, they, and Slay the Spire 2 is going to be built on um, is going to be built on Godot. Bessie. You should watch the Fallout show. Yeah, I want to watch it. I just don't have Amazon Prime, so I got to find my own um, alternate means of watching the, the Fallout show. I do not have Amazon Prime. Oh, wait. Shrag. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? I'm the person distracting you so the guy uh, hiding back there can blow your brains out. Hey, hey guy, a little help? <laughs> uh, let's see. Why don't you put the gun down, friend? You're outnumbered. Let's talk. Outnumbered? I... Shit. Fine. But don't think this is the end. Only for you, honey. No one pulls a gun on me in my bar. Mort! Get out here! Yeah? What, Duchess? Jesus! You let one of those monsters in here? Hey! You want to see if there's a tomorrow? Then I want you to tell me where you and the rest of your numbskull crew is hiding. <laughs> Mort, what was that? Called me a monster. All right, what? He was gonna kill us. I, you know, <laughs> we could have asked him some questions. <laughs> now that's a Bethesda game. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's safer this way anyway. <laughs> Dead. <I> suppose. <laughs> now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. That's funny. She's like, let me ask you some questions, blam. <laughs> uh, interact? No. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You would have hit too. I mean, you're not wrong. But. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Uh. Let's see. What was that all about? He said something about a treasure? Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. You're looking for help with dealing with these thugs? Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. Mm. But I want him to be the last. Hell yeah. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? How much you paying? Fifty caps if you can get the job done. <laughs> Make it a hundred and we got a deal. Seventy-five's as high as I'll go. Okay. For that kind of money, I expect to never hear from those boys again. Now, 
That mean you're on the case? Okay, I'll help you. That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Let's see. You want me to pretend to be Crane, don't you? Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And Yo, what's think, up there? <laughs> I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. Well, it's, I, I actually, I've actually owned this game for a couple years now. Uh, okay, I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. I've actually owned this for a couple years now, but I've never played it. This is the first time me so actually I installed and played it. Together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Sure. I know how to build uh, structures from schematics. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course you're gonna need materials. But we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Yeah, let's do this. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of... Dude, leaders, they're very chatty. You know, one of my people found this tape... Super the chatty. ...across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. Hey. It's a little out of date at this point. But it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. I know, exposition dump overload. Yeah. Alright, so wayward souls completed. Listen to the Overseer log. Speak to Mort. So now I got is so many things. Let's see here. Better to know what you got at launch. Oh yeah, at launch there was like nobody, right? At launch it was like just a bunch of recordings, right? Or something like that. Okay, first contact. And the moldy power armor helmet. Really? At launch, the game was a meme machine? A uh, deserted one at that? Really? So. I don't need a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, this is this one thing I will say. This game does not explain... 
very much to you. And it recommends you, to, when you leave the vault for the first time, to do the jump to level 20, which I did just for survival ability sakes. But by doing that, they just didn't tell you anything. Read the plan. All right. Crane trip. Oh, shit. Guy's in full power armor gear already. But he's level 10. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? And... They fixed a lot. No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the overseer. I think our signing off. Have finally arrived. She's like she walked outside. But like either th that there's a continuity error going on. Because the overseer left a little bit before everyone else, right? And then we all woke up. We all had the party and we left. And but she was saying there's no one out here, nothing out here. I come out here and then everyone is out here. Which makes me think they didn't bother doing any type of re-recording of of stuff. So she's referencing back when the game had nothing around. more mongrel oh it's a oh it's a mole rat there's a there's a classic fallout the fuck oh Oh, wow. Okay. The government airdrop. And there's nothing inside because it was already raided. Oh, so th th here's the tapes. 
So, the, so I guess in, in, in the original version, those tapes I picked up, those were the quests. Well, let's keep on going south. Something like that. Town of Flatwood. There's so many workbenches. Yeah, the old main quest is still in the game where you're led around by holotapes. Interesting. And a body bobby pin. It sure is great to see living human beings again. Cool. So you have a lot of stuff on you. Black room glasses, chess pieces. While you're oh, that's my inventory. Why not grab a stem back or two? Aid. That overseer lady said more people would be coming it's nice to meet you as a very friendly little robot i'll take a right away there's a bunch of the wastelanders update came with a new main quest Fuck off. That's that legitimately made me jump. Damn, Rad Roach. Uh, hi. Dasa asked me if I would talk about um how I got here. They also brought back dragons in this game. So, uh, <laughs> dragons. So Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and, and the cows with two heads, all of it. I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and I put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and uh, I put new Coca Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. And, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. Because my dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. You I haven't seen Daddy since the bombs, and so I, I guess he left because of that too. It's okay. I'm, I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm, I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I could help collect food and water, so I'm getting better. I promise. And um, Daddy. If you're listening, I, looks after me. She's the best guardian I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back now. Okay. Okay. 
I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is supposed to be make me feel sad. <laughs> I guess I guess that's supposed to be a heart wrenching tape. I'm finding all these survivor story tapes. There's some dirty water in there. Pack of cigarettes. So many places to, uh, plan lead line raid armor. Oh, I learned a recipe. I kind of feel like I should have a melee weapon and I'm just using up all my bullets. Free cooking lessons. Did you just shoot a dog with a a flower in his head? I think it was a I think it was a a, a possum. Weapon degrading is in this too. It kind of makes sense. If you're gonna have a game that's like an open world Fallout, and you have a, like a bat, that will go down. It's annoying, but I kind of sort of get the design choice. All right, so I gotta just search for traces. Of the overseer. Overseer's log, town of Flatwood. My God, there's no one here. The old tavern, the church, people were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected, but there's something else. Yeah, there's nobody here. Please. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice... Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. What I know it's even worse than we imagined, but... Someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The risk. Sure, lady. She talks way too much. And she has these long pauses between, like, monologue. She'll monologue and then pause for, like, 15 seconds and then go back to monologuing. All right, let's uh, let's head towards. Are we checked in? Let's see. Search for her location in the system. Okay, Kesha. Monitoring water safety program on Flatwood. So I need to search for her 
along the nearby river. Where did <laughs> where the nukes at? I know. Hey, there it is. He's got water. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. It seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Automated warning to all responders. The Mr. Farm hands are out of control. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Uh-oh. I I accidentally walked into an event. Uh I'll pass. Calling all responders. Sanjay here, letting you know that Steelheart is fully charged and ready for action. If you're in Morgantown, Go ahead Wait. and activate him so we can check the alarms on the stash room. Okay. Just make sure he doesn't take too much damage. I get I, I guess I completed an event. Okay, I completed an event, guys. Don't ask me how I did that. <laughs> Another event. So let's uh take it to a pump. They don't do a very good job on showing you... Uh oh Diluted Radax. There's duct tape. All right, let's head over here. All right, there's the test sample of water. Analyze the water testing kit results in Kesha's lab. I gotta walk all over here. What up, Rama Bull? I don't know, everything just feels empty, if that makes sense. Like, I know the whole point is supposed to be, quote unquote, an empty world, but it just feels. lack of personality it literally feels like they put the creation engine just put a bunch of assets together just threw it on the ground and said hey this is an area the water has not significantly improved since the last sample Updating volunteer status. This is my first interview with another survivor, Kesha McDermott. Oh. Extreme.
At least you can walk a mile without hitting the border. True. Volunteer foiled water is necessary for equipment sterilization. Please assist. Boil water using dirty water and wood fuel. But how though? Oh, here's the water testing kit. You cannot equip this item. I didn't want to drink the dirty water. Volunteer boiled water is Can necessary I just use... for equipment sterilization. Please assist. Hold on. Uh, okay, I could just it's just it's just a this. Okay. That's that's all that is. So I can I can make regular water now. Check in with the self serve kiosk. Find Dober winners option. Okay. So let's do the hunter for hire. Yeah, so far. I'm not too sure how I feel about this game. Hey, I hit level 21. Cool. I'm going to level up my Sure. Uh gain the damage happy camper buying his own prices your luck has increased while under influence in, of alcohol when wandering alone 10% take less damage. Um, also not here at your bite. That seems like a good one. And let's see. Not enough points to equip a card in special. Oh, so this would be strength, and that's it. Okay, I'm understanding how this works now. I'm understanding how this works now. So that's a four, that's a four. This is the, see, this has one unused point. So I could do a... I could do something that's charisma based. And that's a one. Okay. Okay. I think I think I, I think I'm getting how that works. When it comes to perks. Alright. Let's um Let's just do Hunter for Hire. 
Read the plan crane treasure hunting sign schematics from my inventory. Also fair warning, the base crafting bag space sucks. You also need to pay to get more, of course. You always gotta pay to Read the plant crane treasure hunting. There's a plan Voltec cardboard standees. I don't have the plan crane whatever. I got plan knuckles. Plan water pump. Any other plans? Chemistry, workbench. Flatwood, I'm just reading plans so that way I could build. Overseared, pipe bomb. Yeah, I guess. Build a weapons work bench. So I guess this is just telling me the. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't grab the schematics from her, from her, from the lady. Can I? Is there fast travel? <laughs> does Does this game have fast travel? Is this a Bethesda game? Doesn't look like it. <sighs> All right, so let me run. So let me head back to her because I just I just don't think I picked up whatever I needed to pick up from her. What's going on over here? What are you, what are you guys doing? Oh, you got, you're fighting dogs. I haven't seen it yet, but is there vats in this game? I'm trying to picture what vats would be. In something like this. Considering you're playing with other people. You think so? Go back inside. It's a thing, but it's faster than other Fallout games. You don't think it works on players? Yeah, because I was like, like I can't. I can only imagine you try to do that on a player. Like, whether the world slow down for them too? <laughs> Glad to hear vault Tech actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about them just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Yeah, can I ask what happened to you? Allergies. Learned the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, that's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on doomsday. Now you see, I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, and then quiet, then a whole lot less quiet, and the truck was hit with this wind, 
And it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back and then bang, I wake up, man. And it's crazy. Somehow in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. I mean, he's not wrong. What's it like being a ghoul? I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also, means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saved. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Rawr! Seriously? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Okay. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm going to help you, I want something in return. And what is that? All right, listen, I got this plan. You're going to help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're going to test it for me. I made these hollow tips. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give him a listen and let me know what you think. Sure. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. <laughs> Just come back once you've taken him out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? Not anything. Some other time then. Okay, so where are the schematics or plan? Is up here? There's a wrench, tin pitcher. Read the plan, crane, something, something. Can I not interact with you? Interact? Can I trade? Or are you just not something someone I could talk Hoping to? Those materials should cover you. Just might need to scrap a few pieces at a workbench. I'm just like. Where, where's the plan? I don't have it in my inventory. Do you, is it something you're selling? Oops, that's your stuff. I'm checking for the plan in the notes tab. Uh, data. That's event. Daily, side, main, hire, blah, 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 the kiosk should have Dilbert's, okay, that's second helpings. That just gave me plans to sign. First, I need to read the schematics. That just, also, yeah, it says, it, under item and further to the right. These are all the hollow tapes. Okay, here are the plans.
There we go. Freaking hell, man. They don't, they don't, they don't sh show you dilly squat. Console interface, yeah. Alright, so at least I got the damn optional build weapons at the workbench or your camp. Build a crane treasure hunting sign at your camp. Alright, so I guess I just gotta go outside and find a camp. You hated the crafting tutorial for this game? Just feels like off. Everything just feels like in this game kind of like slap together you know what i mean like there's a lot of ideas that could work together but it seems like they're like force brute force in their way to work together than anything else well it was true so i can make a camp anywhere right my camp that's the overseer's log for the camp mods ammo where do I go for So those are my stats. See, now I'm just trying to find where the hell the camp thing is. You would think it would be under, oops. You would think it would be under uh, misc. Crafting Vault 70. category crafting. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but mutated animals, haywire bots, and no people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild. Hold on. And oh, here it is. What I can confirm. God, that's is a terrible. This is a terrible interface. Fortunately, the interface is doo doo sauce. See this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of there Flatwoods is. is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer. Signing off. Can I not? 
You can customize it. Yeah, okay. You, that's fine. I can customize frequent, but how do I get... See, I have to do... I have to pick this. So this is the armor workbench. The cooking station. What do I need to build? The weapons workbench. Okay. Build the crane hunting sign of my camp. Quest. Can I place item? Yeah, it's fine. I don't. Broadcast tape issued. Please deposit data tape into any relay system terminal. Target marked. Okay, load broadcast tape into radio tower. All right. Oh, fuck did I do that? Game, tell me things. Son of a, what tiny fist that a red belt? Oh, wait, oh, wait a second, they think it's on. It's, hello? <clears throat> hello? This is Mort McCoy. See. So I got to sign load broadcast tape into radio tower. Oh, I have to go to a radio tower. Okay, I thought this was like something putting something out. That's just a dumbass sign I had to build. There you go. I have to go over here, all the way over here. All right. So I gotta put up the radio tower, load it up. And then the idiots, I guess, will come to my side, and then I shoot all the idiots. This is the, this is the great master plan that they came up with. My guy, my guy should get. Oh shit! <laughs> wow, that's a Bethesda. The in the entire pack of wolves just w just was in the water just. Take the pipe revolver. Let's see. I love how some of these dogs had like bullets on them. Some of these dogs have bullets on them, some don't. Busted as, but does the AI, I know. 
Hey, it's, it's, it's Bethesda. You just got to kind of roll with it. Alright, I guess we just hit, keep on heading towards the uh, the tower. Oh, it's the other way. Bam. Blood leaf. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take I'll take the blood leaf. That's a a rad stag. All right, let's keep on going. That's a clanky ass robot. Alright, so the broadcast tower is probably up here. Yeah, the broadcast tower is up here. Let's, uh... Run to the top here. There's the tower. a scorched the glowing fungus Not even gonna come in. Oh, no, there you are. You waited for your friend. I'll grab a lead pipe. He had a bolt out rifle. A pistol and unrefined gunpowder. All right. So he had a lot of stuff on him. There's some dirty water in there. All right. Emergency management. Okay. All right, so it says load a broadcast tape. Where do I load? Hold on. That's a clipboard. So where do I load this broadcast tape? So I only have two... Scorch detection communication. Rover dormant. That's all that is. And emergency management. In case of emergency. So where do I go? There's a Nuka Cola bottle. Doesn't necessarily mean there's Nuka Cola inside. Hey, purified water. Look at the bottom again. What about the term terminal?
There wasn't an option. There wasn't an option to load hollow tape. Yeah, I only have these two options. Hold on. There it is. Freak. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible interface. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast pulse. Attention, all consumers. New business established. Please. I gotta head back to my camp. It's awful. It's it's really it's really awful. I I would I would say this is probably the worst uh interface I've ever encountered while playing a Bethesda game. Even worse than Starfield. Oh no, Starfield is a billion times better than this. Starfield was was boring and a lot of menu driven, but it was functional. This one is like, it's hard for me to kind of even tell where it goes what. Let's see. That's damage twenty seven. A hunting rifle. time to eat oh need to find a place to settle down for the rest of the day you do that there buddy the responders are here to help Is still sky the fuck so anyone who reads this my group was ambushed while traveling past lift watch I imagine they get away with my friends were torn apart I'm ashamed of this but I was too afraid to help them and too afraid to take vengeance now please if you could avenge my friends while I can't give you anything just know I appreciate it Okay. I win. Almost back at the camp. I'm sure. I guess my guy doesn't have to sleep. All right, there's 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 my little crane operation nonsense. All right, I guess we just gotta wait and see. Wait to see who the sign draws in.
Oh, somebody's coming. Craig, you here? Yes. This is a sign right here. Come here, idiot. Whoa, you're not Crane. The hell's going on here? You know Crane? He tell you anything about this treasure you found? Crane found the treasure? Holy shit. Where is he? Your guess is as good as mine. Last place he was spotted was this bar down the hill from Fault 76, the Wayward. Wait, are we are we directing people to the Wayward? I guess so. I thought the whole point was to uh to shoot him. The Wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. So do I... You don't know this plot's boring enough? Oh. Hey, come out, come out, wherever you are! You cr... This it? Thought you were some kind of big shot. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Finally, some at yeah, I know. Let's see. I'm saying, no, you tell me where your hideout is, or I'll turn you inside out. You know what? Uh, uh, sure. Fine, fine. We, wow. We took over the old West Virginia Lumber Company in the north. He cave in quick. Come, come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah. This, this gun sucks. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. Where did the other guy go? Did they get away? God dang it. I thought we were supposed to... I thought something was about to happen. Too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Yeah, I did. They're headquartered at the West Virginia Lumber Company. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to. Wait, 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 wait. West Virginia Lumber? Wait, that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why exactly? was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing. Unless why not? You got some big guns. I got big guns. You could try and luck your way inside. Maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. 
There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Uh. You'll find them at Anchor Farm, but if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Yeah, find out what it is. All right. There's no skin off my cheeks. You change your mind, I'll be here. Okay. Honestly, uh, I want to go cook some dinner because I'm actually getting kind of hungry. Because <laughs> it's about 6 o'clock where I'm at right now. So let me go cook some dinner. Have some dinner. I might be back. I might be back with more 76 or I might be back with something else. She's about to knock her damn plate off her table. She's about to physics knock her damn plate off the table. Anyway, yeah. Like, this is the quest line? I, I'm, I'm assuming later on it gets a little bit more exciting, but... Like, I felt like I've done nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm supposed to be, like, the, the only battles I got into were just, like, random dogs and moles, like, running back and forth. It's already way better than it used to be. There was no NPCs once upon a time. Yeah, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible that there was no NPCs. That is, that is silly. So, but, you know. This is more or less still tutorial. Yeah. So hopefully later on, it, there'll be more interesting stuff, but kind of like a really dragging first impression, you know? Like, it's Fallout. It has all the stuff you expect in a Fallout, but it just feels like stuff is dragging to drag, you know? This is one of the Fallout games of our... <laughs> no, it is. You are, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. Yeah, because I was about to get some dinner and stuff. And I've been playing this, and I'm like, I felt like I've done nothing <laughs> in this game. Some running around. Like, it's a tutorial, but, you know. May your road lead you to warm sands. Yo, Z Fallout 76 is best taken as a dungeon crawler. The storytelling just exists to convey you from point A to B. <laughs> no, that's true. Very true, Zarek. Very, very true. Of all the games, this is one of them. That is that is that is a good summary of this game. Of all the games that have been ever made, this is this is sure is a game. <laughs> but thank you so much, Zarek, for uh, subscribing to tier one. I truly appreciate it for fifty seven months, guys. Yeah, throw some throw some emotes if you're on the Twitch side for Zarek for fifty seven months. That's a long ass time. <laughs> uh, but yeah. But, uh, like I said, let me, uh... <laughs> but, yeah, let me go kick some... Di like I said, I've been streaming this for almost three hours. Like, two and a half, three hours. So, let me go make myself some dinner, and I'll come back after I eat and cook some steak. I have some steaks marinating, and, I'm gonna, and I have a cast iron um, skillet. So, I'm going to make some, like, rice with, uh, with the marinated steaks I have. And uh, it's like thin steaks. What's the marinade? It's one I made myself. It's basically um, onion powder, garlic, salt, uh, a little bit of vinegar, uh, mixed with some Spanish seasoning, sazon, uh, mixed with some another Spanish seasoning called mojo. And that's and it's been marinated. And it's thin steaks. It's not like a steak steak. It's a thin steak that you could cook and then uh, uh, cook it with some onions. And uh, it comes out pretty good. So you, you put it in a pan, and you don't do like a quick cook. You do, you let it you let it cook on the, on the low for a bit, and it makes everything very um. Uh, it makes everything the, the steak and the meat very tender. So 
so hopefully it comes out good it's been it's been marinating since this morning so hopefully it's flavorful <laughs> and if not i'm going to eat it anyway because i paid money for it <laughs> so I, either which way i'm having dinner uh, i'm hoping for a good dinner it might be a bad dinner but i'm hoping for a good dinner <laughs> so um all right guys i'll so i'll see you guys in a little bit peace